Yo, what is good, Killer Squad? We're back with another PUBG Mobile video. So as you guys know, I've been playing this a lot, and a lot of you guys have been asking me to see my setup. So I will be showing you guys the best setup, in my personal opinion. And we're going to show you guys how to make full advantage of this based on what usage you are using. So I am using an iPad 2017. So let's go ahead and go to setting and show you guys what I am working with. So crosshair color. Honestly, the white one is probably my favorite one. But I like also using the blue one because blue on this, it looks a little better compared to everything else. But I like using the white because it works out really well. I do have aim assist enabled. Although I find that it doesn't really help much. And we also have healing prompts available. If you guys ever want to see what each of these do. Enable the best recovery option based on your health. Which is really good i might disable it but even then it's always good i like having the left side fire button a lot of people don't like using it but i personally find it's really good because especially if you're like aiming and you just want to hit the button with the left it does take practice gyroscope i'm not 100 sure but i have it disabled i feel like you can move around we also have the peek and fire so if you ever want to peek peeking fire that sounds like some food you can peek around to the right and look around now we do have the customization if you go to controls afters but graphics i have it on medium and balance just because my ipad is not the best so we're definitely not going to be able to play too much high quality controls this is my optimized build moving on the left so that i can move with my thumb my thumb and then on the right side this look to you guys on my right but on the front so we'll go like this so moving with this hand right here and then on this side i like you know moving around so actually i can probably shift over a little bit more but anyway we're gonna move like this so basically what you do is left hand so this is right for you guys but left hand to move and then right hand to shoot and aim that's what i personally like doing i don't like to aim and fire now you find that i might try out the move with the whole screen but i find that sometimes you actually move the, the the aim instead of things so that's why i don't like it so this is the favorite one now customization is very very clutch for me personally what i did is i put the shoot button as you guys can see on the bottom here i don't know if you guys can see this shoot button that, that right here i'm moving i put it here just because i like to move around and then being able to aim and then clap right away click the button i'd be like all right let's move and then pow you know you move that around that's what i put there i put the shooting button a lot of people might not do this but i put the shooting bottom on the bottom just because when i move i move with my my i guess this is index so i move like this and i hit my thumb to shoot so that way you'll be able to move and then pop out pop pow, pow and then right here if you ever want to aim you hit the aim button right there or if you want to crouch now i did move the door up here and i made it a little bit bigger just because whenever you're moving around you want to hit the door i might actually switch it on the bottom because bang you can just open doors real quick but for now we're leaving it there i did move the grenades and the health kits up so this used to be on the bottom but i rather have it right on top so that if i ever want to go to like move it a little higher thing i like moving stuff around so that's why i love about pubg mobile that you can customize the buttons however you want which is absolutely insane so bang you move this around you want to get your health kits up you head drive whatever and you got to aim on the side so that's what we're doing the eye icon however i'm gonna move it to the bottom because i feel like right here if i want to move around i want to look i could be able to look i might leave it even there i haven't decided really exactly where i want to put it but we're gonna leave it on the bottom for now in case i want to move around and look we might just leave it here for now as well because you want to be able to eye you want to like look and then eye and you want to have like another th finger so your thumb and then you move around with your other one that could be really good i might put it on the bottom here that might work a little bit better but that's what i'm using right now you can actually move stuff around so we can hit the save button and if you want to do a second scheme if you want to have another scheme this is how the starting scheme looks like not bad but i'm going to switch up to how i'm using the backpack on the bottom right as well so we'll hit the save we'll hit the exit vehicles honestly I tried using this one, it's not the best, in my opinion. I think this is a nice way, it looks cool, honestly. I like this one though, moving forward and then aiming with the right. Probably my best one, just because you can actually swap left, right. This could be very interesting to see, I haven't tried it out. But aesthetically, that looks really nice, but we're going to keep it like this. Being able to drive forward with this right one and moving around. Sensitivity, I kept it like this. I like the sensitivity, the 8x sensitivity, it's laggy, so I'm not a huge fan of the 8x or anything like that. 4x, I find it's perfect, red dot and that, I might move it a little bit higher just because I find like the red dot is slightly slower than I would like, so we're going to have a 70%, around 70%. The 2x, I might move it up to like 40, seems to be perfect. We have a, uh, what's ADS, I have no clue, but the camera screen, and then we have the aim as well. We, I'm going to keep everything like that just for now, the gyroscope, I'm not really a huge fan of that. Pickup. You guys don't have to disable auto pickup you could do it but i i like the auto pickup because it does pick up the ammo until 100 once you got 100 it doesn't really do it anymore this is what we're doing pick up certain consumables you can't change this unfortunately though but you can change collapse pickups all the other stuff 
audio. We got everything on for now. We got the voice chat as well, and then languages if you want to put in Chinese. Now, basically, that's how I'm gonna. I'm gonna do like a quick game. We're gonna run into not squads. We're gonna do solo. And then we're just gonna move around, show you guys basically how my setup works, and then uh, I might do another tip and trick video. If you guys want to see a tip and tricks videos for how to play better, essentially, when you start off, you do want to just land. Every so as you guys can see, I'm moving with my, my my right finger, and then I can punch. If I have a weapon, I can just move and punch. It's just a little laggy right now, kind of weird. I don't know why. I don't know why it's it's it's, it's a little laggy in game. It's, it might just be me. But I don't have anything loaded. So like I said, you can also swim around. Game's gonna start real soon. It's a slight, slight lag. That was weird. That was a little bit weird. So yeah, like I said, I like going like this. And if I ever want to aim, I just give you like aim, aim, pow, pow, pow. We ain't trying to be too glitch. Uh, I hope this game starts real quick so that we can show you guys um, how I take full advantage of the guns and stuff like that. I do use an iPad. I am using like um, a stand so that I can just put my finger on the left side. Ooh. Uh. 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 Yeah, that's why I like this about I like this more than uh, Fortnite Mobile is because you can customization. So we're just gonna. I might die early just so that I can explain to you guys how guns works and everything. Uh, Razak is gonna have a whole bunch of people. So let's go ahead out to Razak. Even if we die, it's okay. I'll we'll show you guys the weapon, that, how how to take full advantage of the settings and customization. Because the customization is super, super key in this game. Hospitals probably be a bunch of people. I already see a lot of people jumping. Look at that. That's it. That's not that many, actually, to be honest with you guys. Alright, let's go ahead and move around. I'm gonna drop soon. And let's go ahead and drop on out. Should be able to make there pretty, pretty solidly. I do find the game is getting harder and harder the more you ranked up. So there's a rumor that uh, you play against bots in the beginning so that you almost get instant wins, which is it's smart because it's like a tutorial. It makes you want to play some more. A lot of people are playing this game. It seems to be fun. Again, let me know what you guys think about the green screen as well. So we do have the green screen now. Ah, I don't know how to feel about the green screen, to be honest. My face is a little darker. But, anyway, right, let's go ahead. See now, like I put the eye on the bottom here, so it makes it very nice. I can like look around. You know what I'm saying? Like it's pretty nice, and you just release it. That's pretty sick. So we're gonna go ahead and look. See, you have the bottom. You gotta look around, see if there's people. I just see no one. Oh, I see people forward in front of us, but behind me. Oh yeah, there's one guy behind me. He's gonna try to go to the house that I'm going to. So we're gonna go to this house right here. See, show you guys some of the aiming tactics. And when you're moving around, you just want to see where the guy is. There's a guy landing right there. You want to jump in. Put the move here. Frag. I don't have a gun, though, unfortunately. Wow. All right. No gun. Oh, I got a shotgun. All right. I got at least a shotgun. We got two shotguns. For sure. You know what? Let's run a double shotgun. We're running the double shotgun. We're going to the house. There's a house next door. There's a guy on top of that hill. I can see him. I can't shoot him because I only have a shotgun. Automatic quick draw, flash hider, extended mag. Police vest. Another shotgun. Are you kidding me? Come on, man. Give me not a shotgun so I can show you guys how we aim here. We got a backpack. Oh my gosh. I'm just trying to show you guys. Is that guy still on top? He's still probably in those houses nearby. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get a AR or any any SMG. Shotgun's nice. I'm not a huge fan of close combat. I'm more of like a, the, 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 you know, move around, try to get stuff. Oh, there we go, AR boys. There we go, and then we have a sight. So we can probably get some first. I like also making sure that we're on single so you can tap and shoot people. Where are those shots coming from? I have no clue. We can get a vertical grip here. There's two vertical grips. All right, let's go around and find some kills. Just to show you guys what I was talking about. There's people on top of this hill. So let's see if I can actually climb up this hill. And you guys can see I have the aim button right here. So if you guys want to aim. Is there a guy in there? That, that was just looted. So you want to make sure you walk around. You look around. See if people are... Oh, there's a guy right there. Like I said, 
You want to be able to shoot with the left or you can shoot with the right. Either or. I'm just going to loot this guy real quick. Oh! Guy got me from behind. Dang. Whatever. So, yeah, like I said, that's why I like using this setup for moving around. You get to move around. You can shoot with the left one. You can shoot with the right. I was shooting a little bit with both. Just trying it out. But I got shotty from behind, which is unfortunately. But, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like, that thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what is your setup. If you guys like my setup. If not, let me know which one you are using. If you want to see my latest videos, it's going to be on the right side or the bottom of the screen. If you haven't yet, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I make videos on it daily. All right, I'm out. See you guys next time. Kill it.